All right, y'all. I know I just talked about this topic a couple days ago, but I wanted to bring it up again. Just really think about this. And we, and we might have to think about this in another way. I'm not saying to drive ourselves crazy thinking about it. But when you think about how existence came to be, if, if we're not mind blown by this conception, how all of this came to be, let's, let's not say that it's God. Let's not say that evolution happened. Let's not say that any let's let's just erase all of these things that we think we know let's erase everything and let's just talk about the subject plain and simple here if we don't think or if we don't think that evolution happened or that there's a god I know we didn't come from apes. I know that apes didn't turn into humans. I, I mean, it's kind of common sense. If you're someone that you think evolution happened, that's cool. I know that we are cells that come from something, but it's absurd to think that we are somehow from apes, that we were once apes, how apes walk, how strong apes are, they have the hair, they just, they look completely different, even though they look similar, they're way different than us. If we erase all of that, and we really think about this, for a man and a woman, I, I said this before too, but these things just blow my mind, I can't get past them. If a man and a woman came about, where did the first human come from or how did the first human come about? There has to be a woman to make a baby and there has to be a man that, you know, puts the sperm into the ovary to make a child. So where did the first person come from? See, this is what nobody can explain. And if, let's just say that cells and DNA and organisms are, quote, God. Let's call them God, that they created everything, that they made everything. For them to have the ability to be this small thing and multiply and make itself something with private parts and something with a nose and something with eyes and something with a head and something with ears that can hear and something with arms that bend and fingers that move and toes that move and our body heats itself up. If we really think about this, think how crazy this is that we're even living, that we're even here, that we even exist. It, it's the most crazy, mind-boggling, absurd thing. I mean, I don't know if I want to say absurd, but it's it, it's just nuts if you think about this. Like, how did these cells know to do this? How did they know to... And I know a lot of us, we believe in God. We think that there's a God. I'm not saying there is or there isn't a God. I already said this in a lot of my other videos, if no one ever heard me say this, but I have a problem with religion. I have a problem with spiritual practicing. I have a problem with these things, very big problems. And I'm not going to explain that now. But if we think of the origin of everything, if there is, if there is this God, then what made this God, how did this God come to be? How did this creator come to be to make this? But it's, see, it's really hard because I don't believe that anymore. I, I, at least I don't believe in a religious God. I don't believe in a spiritual God. I think that there might be some kind of uh, creator. I think that there might be some kind of intelligence. But then I say to myself, if we're really thinking here, well, what made that intelligence? 
the intelligence that made the intelligence that made the intelligence that made the intelligence. And that's probably what I'm going to name this video. For And for me to have the ability to speak, for me to have the ability to make the designs that I make, for me to have the ability to do rhythms and patterns in my head, for me to have the ability to even talk, walk, see, smell, hear, feel, all these things, for me to have the ability to do this, it just completely boggles my mind. And I know some people, they don't even care about this. They, they, it just, they're completely numb to all these things and they don't really even think about stuff like this. We're so focused on our jobs. We're so focused on our bills. We're so focused on all this bad stuff, our suffering, the things we go through, but really suffering, most of the suffering we have is created by ourselves, whether we want to admit it or not. And I know a lot of people, a lot of us do not want to hear that. We do not want to hear that we are our own problem. But I know for me, I'm my own problem. A lot of the things that I was months ago, I was creating that for myself because I, I wasn't walking. I wasn't getting no exercise. I was just sitting around. Of course, I'm going to feel like shit if I sit around. Because if you're not moving and your blood's not flowing, it's almost like you're congealing. Your body's congealing, and that's how I feel. My legs swell up. There's so many things that happen when I sit around all day. And the one thing, this is a little off topic from this, but the one thing about doing what I'm doing now with my designs and my arts and uploading stuff is I'm sitting all day and I'm typing on a computer on my bed. If there was a way I could stand up and do that, that would be great, but I don't have anything in my room to do that. But anyway, that's it. this is off topic, but if we just for a second don't think that it's God or evolution happened or aliens or all this stuff, when we think of existence and how crazy it is that we're born and we live and we die, when we really think about how crazy this is, something starts happening in your life when you really, really think about this and you really think about it rationally and with, I don't know the word to use, but when we think about it, when, when we have, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Not rationally, another word, but it doesn't matter. If we would think logically about these things. And I'm not telling people to just think about things that you know you cannot solve. Don't drive yourself nuts, even though it is nuts, even though it is crazy. That's the word I'm referring to it as. It doesn't mean it's crazy or nuts, but it's kind of unbelievable in its, in its own right. We say that we believe in all these things, but do we believe in reality? Do we believe in right now? Do we believe in what we can do right now to inspire ourselves and other people? This is what I was talking about before I talked to this brother that's going through something himself. This man was telling me about his problems that he was having and his his girls out having sex with other people. And I mean, no one's ever going to know the guy anyway. I, you know, I wouldn't do that if it, if it was the case. But he said that she's out selling her body and he don't know how to be a father and his kids. He has kids and stuff. And I completely understand that. I understand that because I have family members that went through the same thing. And you know what I told him? I said, you cannot try to be something you're not. Stop trying to be a father. Just be, be yourself, be who you are. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Move on. I didn't say it in that specific way, but I said, look, I don't have no advice for you. I can't tell you anything. I, I let that stuff go a long time ago, being like, uh, trying to force myself to be in relationships, like to find somebody to, uh, do what I really don't want to do to be in this relationship thing. I, I don't 
I don't go for this relationship stuff. You either have the connection with a person and you want to be together for a certain amount of time or you have the chemistry and it just clicks and you really do enjoy each other's company. You relate in a lot of ways. You actually do care for one another. But when it doesn't work and it's not going right, then maybe it's time to move on. This is why I don't, I am not a, I am not a promoter of marriage. If someone's married on here, that's fine. I, the best to you and your partner, but I'm not for marriage because I think it puts up a stronghold. It, it kind of puts you in a, it puts you in a place where you really don't have a decision and you have to say, well, this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. You know, if the girl and the man or the man and the girl or the man and the woman doesn't work, it doesn't work. Move on. It's okay. Something happened, you know, and this all goes in with what I'm saying with this, how, how we we're, we're so focused on these, these minute things and these, these little sufferings and things that are going on in our life. And we're not really seeing the other picture. We're not really focusing on what it is that we want to do. The things that we really want to say. The things we really want to be. The things that we want to do in our life before we die. Because once we're dead, we're dead. We're dead forever. There is no second chance in life. We have second chances to do the things that we want to do. And... And make the best out of our lives while we can, you know, yes, there's, there's suffering on the way. We already know this. We're all going to get old. I'm going to get old one day. If there is somebody that's older watching, I understand. I understand, man. I understand, woman. I understand. That's why I can't be cocky and bold about this because I know my day will come. My day will come. But until that day, I am going to make the best out of my life and I'm going to keep wondering about this mystery. I'm going to keep relishing in it. I'm going to keep asking questions. I'm going to keep doing what it is that I need to do. And I'm, I, it's, it's just, I made a choice just like a week ago, a week and a half or something ago. I don't know how long ago it was. I said, I am. I'm not changing who I am. I'm changing my circumstances. I'm changing every circumstance in my life. I'm changing how the li way my life is going. I can't, I'm not changing myself. There's nothing to change. I'm the person who I am. I'm the person I'm always going to be. There's no changing that. I, I'm Nate. I have my own personality and that's what it is. I don't agree with this you have to change yourself thing. You don't have to change yourself. You already are what you are. You have to change your attitude and your, and your, the things you're doing in your life to keep yourself miserable. That's the things we have to change, y'all. You understand? I really, really hope that we're understanding this. So, I could go on and on about this for hours, days. If I had enough time to record on here, I'd record for probably like an hour talking about this stuff because I could talk about it all the time every day. It's, you know, I'm out here right now and I'm recording and, you know, some guy comes up to me that I don't really know and I did my best to help him and I'm out here looking at this house in front of me. I'm doing this video. I'm thinking of uh, my, my art stuff. I'm thinking of how did all this come to be? I'm thinking of, you know, what do I have to eat that is the healthiest for my body? Like it, my mind is always thinking about this stuff, but it's, it's this thing where I'm, I'm not overthinking. I'm only thinking about the things that I need to think about for myself. I'm not adding any of this extra baggage stuff. And when I say extra baggage, it sounds like an insult when I say people have this extra baggage in their life. It's just like when I say marriage is extra baggage for people. What I'm saying is if it doesn't work for you, then both of you say, okay, Emily 
or Tom or Bill or Steve or Courtney or Jerome, anybody. If it didn't work, okay, that's cool. Let's, we can still be friends. We can still talk with one another. We can still associate with one another, but it's just not working out. So let's move on from the situation, you know? And that's how I see this whole thing. I see this whole thing for me. I'm focused on minimalism. I'm focused on my art because that's what I love to do. I'm focused on my health and I'm focused on these videos and mystery. I think about mysterious stuff and I question stuff and to give to other people. This is me giving myself to other people. I'm giving you myself. I don't have to do these videos. I could walk and talk with myself. I know it sounds nuts, but I do talk with myself and I could talk with myself all day. It doesn't bother me. You know, I don't know what they, they call it. I don't care what they call it. I do it because I need to do it for myself. And I just gave, I just gave something to this brother. He needed help and I gave something to him. He asked me and he was being truthful. At least I think he was, but it don't matter. I gave something to the brother. I gave him what I had and I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't tell people things like that. I shouldn't announce when I do that, but you know what? I will because there's other people that may need to hear something like that. It, it, you never know the spark that you can set. You never know the flame you can set to somebody else's life. This is what I'm saying. We do not know. It can only take a couple words to get somebody to move and groove and do something for themselves in their lives. It can take one, it could take two words. It could take, I understand. I understand. It could take, you're not alone. You are not alone. It can take, do you need help? If you're really genuinely, authentically honest about what you're saying, then you should not be ashamed. You should not be fearful. You should not be holding back on something. If you have no shame and you have no fear, then you should not be ashamed or in fear to say anything. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that shame anymore. I don't have that fear anymore. It's gone. I mean, I do fear things. I still fear things. I fear little tiny bugs, thousand leggers, centipedes. I fear them. I fear heights. I fear the dark kind of like dark corners because I don't know what's there. I don't know if, you know, Jason Voorhees or Freddy's there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just joking, but I never know. I never know, you know, when it could be my last. I never know. And I'm putting everything into my life right now. I'm putting everything that I am. And, you know, it's sorry to say, it's it, it, this is the ashamed part. Not a lot of people are going to want to listen to this. They're going to want to listen to someone talk about a bunch of negative shit. They're going to want to hear someone that's talking about all these problems and blaming other people. That's the shit that people want to hear. That's why people watch the news. That's why people watch channels that are kind of toxic in a way. People watch this stuff. And my channel is not a toxic channel. I don't know if people have a misperception of my channel. This is not a place for toxic stuff. Not at all. This is not a place for gossip. This is not a place for fake phony stuff. I don't want none of that here on my platform. And I won't have any of it here. It's my platform and I run it the way I run it. And I'm not going to have any of that stuff. It's just not going to happen. I don't have time for it. It's a waste of time for anybody that may be doing this to themselves. I'm telling you, you are only hurting yourself. That is the only thing you're hurting when you do this. And I realized a lot of my older videos, I was just hurting myself with a lot of the things I was saying. I was talking about a bunch of stuff because that's what kind of I thought how everybody was. I thought that everybody was in fear and everybody was ashamed and everybody was all these things. And I was reflecting that back on myself. I was fearful, shameful, uh, all these things that go along with the extra baggage stuff that I talk about. And 
I just don't have time for it anymore. I won't let it around me. I won't let it in my life. And none of us really should, but I know it's not going to be the same for everybody. There's some people, they're going to absolutely not like what I'm saying. I can't have everybody like me, and but I don't want everybody to like me. This is not about liking. This is about discipline, giving, being honest, being genuine. That's what it's about for me. And like I said, if something ever does happen with me to where I get on my feet, so to speak, I have things that I know that I will do as a person because I'm thinking of them now. I, I am relishing on things that will actually help myself and will help other people. Now, I know I get pissed off. I say a bunch of stuff. I, I get hype. I, I get agitated. I talk about others. I blame others for stuff. I blame the world. I say F the world. I do all them things. But you know what? I realize now I am my own worst enemy. I am the one. When I am fearful, it's because I'm, I'm in fear of myself. I am scared towards myself. I am scared to do something because I'm scared of how others will perceive myself, me. And that's where the fear and the shame and the guilt and, and, and all this suffering and negativity comes from because we're reflecting that into the world and it's coming back onto us. And if we stop doing that, if we just admit what we're going through, then we can get past it maybe. If we actually go up to somebody and spew our guts out, then maybe you can get it out of your system and you can move on. You, you know, it, it's, that's what I tell to everybody. Like, you never know what you can say or do for somebody that can absolutely shift the momentum of their lives. Because I know I needed it. I know I needed it for myself. I needed people to uh, inspire me. I needed people to help me. I needed people to get me out of the gutter. So why wouldn't I do it for someone else? Why wouldn't I help another person if someone did it for me? That would just me being... That would be an abomination. It would be an, an abomination if I didn't help somebody else. If I didn't do whatever I could do, I would be an abomination. Because I know if there is something, if there is some kind of creator, or there is some kind of something, or, or there's nothing, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to give when I can give. I'm still going to do whatever it is that I can do to bring as much creativity and peace and peace of mind and tranquility and all these other things to my life and others lives and I don't have time for toxic stuff I don't have time for gossip I don't have time for greedy people I don't have time for fake stuff I don't have time for none of that stuff no more that is dead with me completely dead and out of my life it's dead I don't even think about it I don't even let it around me anymore but you know, it, it's you're going to run into it in this life. And that's why I said, if all else fails, if I fail at everything,